Hey friends, it's John. You are on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel and you are on the playlist Knot Time. If I only knew one secure loop knot, it would be the Alpine Butterfly. The Alpine Butterfly is elegant, it's easy to tie, it's fairly easy to untie, and it's tieable in the bite, and therefore it's extremely versatile. We can also tie the double Alpine Butterfly, creating two loops with ease once we know the Alpine Butterfly, and I'll demonstrate that. Because it's tieable in the bite, it's easy to fashion it on the end of the rope as well, so we don't need to know two secure loop knots. Okay, let's untie it, and I'll show you how I tie the Alpine Butterfly. Start by selecting a bite of rope and making a complete turn of the rope. The working end is obviously in front. And this is crucial. I want to keep that in front. I never want it to pass behind the standing end. But I do want to get that standing end and bring it in front of the loop. Okay? So I'm going to hold the working end in front and then pass the standing end so that the loop is in the back. In that configuration, you'll notice here at the top, I've got this crossing point. I've effectively got the shape of a pretzel. Can you see that? The shape of a pretzel with this crossing point at the top. As long as we've got that, we're good to go. And what we do is we the center bottom, I bring that bite through and put it through the center, very symmetrical. That creates the Alpine butterfly. All right, I won't tighten that too much. Let's do it again. Around. I'll bring this line in front of the loop. Take that bite out the bottom and through. Now once you get good with this, it becomes second nature. And I find myself with my left hand, I just kind of, I do that with my left hand. I flip the loop around back. And in that light, created your Alpine Butterfly. Now let's intentionally make a mistake. Let's, let's say we accidentally got this working end behind the standing end, okay? If that happened, this is the point where we would really want to catch that because we don't have that pretzel. We've got these two bites at the top are not intertwined in any way. And if I kept going, I would create something. It's just not an alpine butterfly, and we would catch that at inspection. So I do encourage you to make that mistake intentionally just so you can inspect the finished product so you can look out for it when you are tying your butterfly correctly. Okay, here we go over once. Got my pretzel, see that again, over. My left hand does the magic. Got my crossing point here where my left thumb is. You see that pretzel there? And with this in my right hand, I'll grab that bite out the bottom and put it through the center. The nice thing about knowing the Alpine Butterfly is that it's easy to tie the double alpine butterfly. Let's say I needed two secure loops. Let's say I was dragging a heavy object and I wanted to have, I have a rope on it, and I want to have a hand on an individual loop. How would I create a loop for each hand? Okay, one turn, a second turn. Everything else is the same. 
keep this in front. So I've got these two lines, the standing end and the working end, on, on top and the coils behind. I, I reach behind, through the two, and now I've got a double alpine butterfly. And as you'd expect, it can take load, some we'll call this bunny ears, right, bunny ears, we can grab with each hand, we've got a secure loop, and load could be applied on one or both strands. And I'll leave you with one more option, and that's just, it's the same thing, but let's say I was tying it near the end. So I could have tied a, and you know, no disrespect to the Bolin and all of its variants, and uh, the, the figure eight end loop, uh, you know, there, that's a, a, a great conversation in its own, but if we already know the Alpine butterfly, we can tie it near the end of the rope. So let's do that. And the nice thing about the Alpine butterfly for some applications is, uh, particularly a canopy anchor, is that this tail can take a load and it's not, it's not tucked inside of this bite. For certain rigging applications, it's advantageous to have this tail exiting the knot itself uh, in, in the same direction that the rope entered it. So there you have it, the Alpine Butterfly and the Double Alpine Butterfly. Happy climbing.